no gunshots, but they get in low, 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 yeah. Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to yet another video on County Line in FS17. So, we are back right where we left off yesterday. We are going to continue our planting. Thought I had it uh, up before, but I must not have. But we're going to keep on chugging away at planting this uh, sorghum here. See if we can't get it done by the end of the week. <laughs> this is going to be pretty crazy here. And uh, actually, what I think I'm going to do to help save us time here is we are going to hook this guy up to the corn planter. Put him on course play. And uh, get him running some soybeans over in field eight. So this guy needs to plant the soybeans and the sunflowers. it up right from there that's fine by me so field eight is soybeans we'll go ahead and switch to that we will refill this um, this thing puts down fertilizer directly so we'll uh, be able to have fewer fields to fertilize our seed so now is it going to let me fill up with fertilizer or not oh I suppose this is probably solid so we need to buy the tank for solid fertilizer now thinking I would not need to buy but I do need to back up and not drive forward as well it also kind of helps so I'll go ahead and take this guy over to field 8 as soon as we get him filled up here okay is it seriously not going to fill it's kind of annoying there we go I need to check my settings. Is he set by? Yes, he is. Okay. So we are all good on that. Field 8. Right down there. So we'll go ahead and take this guy down there. And then we can uh, get it set up on course play, and that'll help move things along a little bit because this guy needs to plant field 8 and field 33 both of which are fairly decent sized fields those are probably the two two larger fields that we own so
Had I done it sooner, I probably would have set up the drill on course play. And then we'd run this, but it's a little too late for that. We'll do that on the next field here. See, this one right beside us is ours too. Yeah, that's 11. That's where our oats are going to be. gonna make a new field edge just because fertilizing and seeding we're gonna do eight this is a 19.18 hectare field pretty good size we're gonna fold this guy out because I don't know if this is actually six meters might be a little bit bigger than that oh it is six okay so we're gonna start in the We'll go northeast. We'll head south on two headlands. I want to see all of my waypoints here. Yeah, that'll work. So we'll set them up to go to the first waypoint, which I'm guessing is over here. And we will call this F8 Horn. Uh, that's probably not the greatest name to save it as because uh, come on because if we we'll do a corn plant is what we'll do F8 corn planter that's what we'll call it. I saw this probably a large course, and that's why it needs to sit here forever to save. It's always pleasant. Come on. Okay, so I can we delete. Not delete one of those. But. Now we should be able to, maybe. F8 corn is what we need to do. Alright, and we need to actually jump back over this guy. We need to run ahead of him. Uh, I don't really want him to use ridge markers. I have to change that here. Bridge marker is deactivated. What in the world? Okay, I guess we're gonna have some messed up field here. Is this, I forget, this thing does not direct seed, but the drill does. So, ah, oh, man. Oh well. It's kind of annoying that it does that. Auto engine start. It's kind of annoying that it shuts it off when you leave it. I mean, I guess it's probably nice because it saves it on fuel, but it's also annoying. Huh. Should be some lights up there. But there's not. <laughs> and here's where we're going to lose quite a bit of money because of him buying seed. I guess I probably didn't need to re really fill that planter. He's buying seed and fertilizer. But, oh well, I guess. It is what it is. Yeah, man, that's really rough right there. This is not going to be pleasant. Good thing we got our diff locks on. Eh, it wasn't too bad, actually. It wasn't as bad as it was before.
warmed up a little bit. It's 36 degrees now. Not sure where you go to see the weather, actually. Statistics. Let's crank this all the way up. Ten dynamic hose. And let's put that to zero. Hireable number. Let's put that as high as it can go. Tabbing AI. Put that at zero, zero. Start shift hour. We go back to normal rate. Off AI. Time scale. Fifteen minutes, okay. So I don't know how to check the forecast. Because hmm. Alt S is season. Oh well, whatever. It is what it is, I guess. See, yeah, having course play running one machine will definitely help to uh, speed things along a little bit. It'll help move planting season along. Shouldn't uh, make it seem like forever. That's too far over now. Maybe over one more. kind of curious to see how much land we actually have. So we have field 7. So I'm just going to write these down. I don't know why it's lagging like that, like it is. 
Yeah, it's kind of strange that it's doing that on the fields that I haven't calculated an edge for. No, it must be something in the way that it's set up that it's not liking me doing that or something. So actually fields 8 and 10 are our two largest fields, uh, 8 is being the largest of them all. That's quite a bit of land there. I'll go ahead and figure it all out, 12.21, 18, 18, 15, 46. 568 11.76 So we're running a si total of 64.29 hectares And I'll figure out how many acres that is here in a moment As I like to figure it out in uh, the terms that are used here we don't use hectares or anything like that. So, 64.29. So we'll go hectares to acres. That's 158.86 acres. So, we're running a pretty good amount of land for our equipment. Just want to jump over and check how this guy's doing. So far, so good, thankfully. This thing's getting dirty a lot faster, but of course, the uh, faster dirt was turned on before this guy started. With our tractor, I turned that on after we started, so. Uh, what's our stats here once? Vehicle overview, finances. Where does it have for like wage payment? One, huh? Own interest. Fertilizer and seed. Spent quite a bit already. Spent quite a bit of money already on stuff here. definitely a lot quieter in the cab <laughs> not here in the planter running it's definitely a lot easier going back to figure out where you're going there's rows spread out all over Going like this, it's a little bit harder to tell. Uh, we 
got about 10 minutes left here. So say, why aren't you opening here? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn our uh, screenshot mode off again. So starting summer is when uh, we'll go ahead and spray or as soon as our crops are up uh, on their first growth stage. That's usually when I've been spraying uh, once they've emerged. So that's usually late spring, anywhere from late spring to mid-summer. Just depends on the crop. <clears throat> I am also working on getting videos edited while I'm working on videos. A lot of multitasking going on. There definitely is a whole lot of land to plant. <laughs> definitely cannot last very long, just these machines that we have. Definitely can't uh, expand our operation any. If we tried doing that, we would, uh, would miserably fail. Because any land that we take on with these pieces of equipment is just going to take that much longer to farm. Harvest time shouldn't be too bad, but I mean that'd definitely be one of the things that's lower on the list of priorities to upgrade. Like basically our planters are really the only thing that we need to upgrade because the sprayer is pretty good sized. Um, we're pretty good on that. Our disc is plenty good. Uh, really we only have to disc any ground that the uh, corn planter would be planting or well yeah anything that that will plant would have to be disked um, but otherwise everything else is pretty good later on we can maybe get like a, a pup trailer to pull behind our grain truck in the future but for now what we got is pretty good could have gone a little bit bigger I think though but oh well I think had I gone like the next size bigger for planters I think we would have been set, but then we would have had to go bigger on tractors as well to have more horsepower to pull these things, so I guess uh, I guess we're okay. Passes are definitely getting shorter right now. It's taking a lot less time to go from one end to the other.
kind of funny how some directions this thing seems to be like a whole lot darker this back end and then you go another way and it's a lot lighter Pop over and make sure this guy's still running good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's just finishing his headlands. And starting to think I maybe should have done a third one. But, oh well. He'll be pretty good. I have noticed though that course play actually backs things up. Uh, or has so far. I've only used it on basically the disc that we have. Uh, I used it on Random Sparks' map on Central Valley. I had used it on there. And, uh, it seemed, it like backed it up. It would turn around and it would like turn and then go way up on its you know that track and then it would like come back and it would just back the thing straight up until it got as far back as it needed to be and then it would drop it down drive so i don't know if it's kind of curious to see if it's going to do that same thing with that track that implement or not it can be interesting to see But it, uh, it didn't, like, in 15, if it backed up, it would just, it would back straight up. It wouldn't, it would act like there was no trailer on. But it actually, when I used it on Central Valley, it, it backed the trailer up. Like, it seemed to realize it was there. So, I don't know, maybe they, uh, did some upgrading in the scripts or something, somehow, some way. I have no idea. Do I have that is 97% full? Oh, I suppose the uh, corn planter there. I know it's not technically called a corn planter, that's just what I usually say. Because a lot of times that's what they're used for is planting corn. But that's not all that they're used for and that's not their actual name, but like I said, it's just what I say. It's kind of what they're referred to a lot around here. I know there's a lot, quite a few people that refer them, refer to them in that way as well. But and there's some people that go crazy when they hear someone call them that. Alright, so we are done with one side. And to avoid taking out the sign, if possible. <laughs> now we'll just start on our next round. Although turning on this side is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Turn way wider. Must be nice if GPS would cooperate correctly. Oh man, you're kidding me. It's not even gonna actually. Well then, let's look here. What's this show that this is in size? Six meters. Hmm. That's just great. And that is the end of the video here. Um, man. I have to figure out a way to fix all this stuff. 
I definitely can't do anything about it now, really, because it's just going to be a nuisance about it anyways. But I guess it's just going to take twice as long to plant this side because of the way that it wants to plant. I know it did have an offset, but that offset was way too large. And maybe now it's going to work just fine. It might just be these turning the top ends here. Or maybe just ends in general. Yeah. Man. That really stinks. Well, I guess we'll just have to figure it out in tomorrow's video but that's gonna do it for this one if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we'll see you tomorrow